Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com. This video is an update. It's a follow-up to an update that we did for a post we had on iPhoneS.com about astronomy applications. We recently updated it and we thought maybe we'd do a video. We've been doing a lot of videos actually on astronomy applications. We covered applications that show you dark spots that you can take your telescope to. We covered the scope nights a couple of weeks ago that shows you the when the weather is right. We've covered applications that show you midi shower events and help you keep up. And also applications that provide you with basic understanding of what you're looking at in the sky, star map and interactive maps that you can use to get a better understanding of what the objects are and how to plan your stargazing experience. So applications like this dark sky finder help you find areas to go to. You can use meter shower guide to find the next meter shower event to go to. You can use distant suns to learn more about the objects. And you can use an application like a sky guide to get a really good understanding of the objects get more background information on them. Now these four applications that we're covering here today are applications that help you identify what you're looking at in the sky. They use technology such as augmented reality so you can point your iPad to the sky to see what you're looking at. The first one is so a star walk. It's gonna make some sounds. It's, it has a pretty awesome music and it has a really awesome user interface so I'm just going to demonstrate what it does it's a it, it covers over 200,000 celestial bodies it has augmented reality and so you point it to the stars and you see what you're looking at and there we go Once you tap on an object, not only it zooms on it, it also shows background information. You can't see it in the video because it doesn't output an HD HDMI through HDMI. But what you can see here is you see figures, Wikipedia links. Awesome 3D and pretty cool music. The next one that is worth checking out is Go Sky Watch Planetarium. It's an application you point to the stars to see what you're looking at. See interactive. Very easy to use. Just you don't even need to know a whole lot about astronomy. Though it's better to know it because some of these apps are actually has they have advanced features which comes handy. You can do target identification, which is what you're looking for. So it tells you object name, brightness, distance, all these stars that are visible to the naked eye, it covers them. You can find if you're looking for a certain object, you can go through images, you can learn about solar our solar system stars you name it you can just get a better understanding of what astronomy is about it won't make you a scientist but it does it, it surely beats just reading a couple of books you can actually see what you're looking at it's pretty awesome that in that regard sky view we had a chance to cover this in a video recently as you can see it's showing interface in interference with my compass but this is the live view if I was outside I was looking at the stars and the sky this is what I would get and I can identify different objects and this is for my location I can search for other locations I can search for different objects it provides with that See that arrow? It shows you how to point your iPad so you find the 
planet or star that you're looking for. Now there are applicate there are gadgets that you can buy that have, that do, that do this, but they charge you two hundred, three hundred dollars for that. This one it it's ninety one ninety nine and it has you covered. Pretty interactive. You can choose what to display. You can choose different layers. Get more information on objects, you just tap on them, see what you're looking at. And that's about it. I do encourage you to go and see the video that we did for that, for this application, to see what other features it has. The Sky Guide is another special app. It gives you an idea of what you're looking at. It's like a super enhanced map of the sky you can set my location manually or current location it does have awesome sound so you can see what you're looking at it, it's like a book it's like an interactive book except that you can actually use it to identify objects in real time and get learn a couple of things every time you go out so it has rich content which is one of the best content as far as the quality of content it has all the links so you can keep exploring it's very well designed I, I, I have to say and one of my favorite apps and it's compatible with iPhone 4 to iPad 2 and above it has HDR, HDR brightness gestures so you can also Zoom in and zoom out. The sound escape feature, the the fact that you, you get it sort of enriches your experience because you not only get to tap and see the information, the sounds are they all add a little bit and you have great graphics, you have great music, you have great information, so they all add a little bit and you get a complete whole package. And it works with or without Wi-Fi or GPS, so that's pretty awesome in that regard. So some of the other apps that you can use that we have in here, we haven't gotten them here but you can actually see our videos on them one of them is distance suns it's a pretty decent application you don't need all these you only need one or two depending on your taste to see what you're looking at and these applications more than cover what you need i personally like a sky guide as a reference to learn and also i like a star walk because of the graphics the sky view is pretty decent as far as just looking at the stars and seeing what figuring out what you're looking at so all of them have their own benefit if I were to go with one or two I would go with sky guide and sky view but the other two are also awesome so you want to check all of them out if you can if you afford to buy all of them I would recommend it they're not that expensive anyway so if you love astronomy and stars trust me I've tried so many of these apps and even though some of them offer the same features you always have a different unique interface and unique take by the developer so and you can sort of figure out which one actually works the best for your needs if you try all multiple apps and I, I hope you enjoyed this short review of these apps we have covered them in longer videos so you want to go check them out also please go to iphones.com to check our list on astronomy applications don't forget to check our telescope apps that show you where to take your telescope and also meteor shower applications. Thanks again for watching guys.